talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of Nehemiah chapter 8. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us, Father. Give us wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and discernment about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speak an encouraging words to and or listening to, just show us that person, Father God. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you. We pray against any and all attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray that you give us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world, godly and divine wisdom, knowledge and discernment to make the right choices and decisions today, Father God, not only for the betterment of us, but others as well. And we thank you for that. And we pray that you guard and protect us and our vehicles, our loved ones and their vehicles, our leaders and their vehicles, others and their vehicles as we're traveling to and from different locations. Just drive for us today, Father God. Send down our guardian angels to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you called us to do. Just work in us, for us, and through us today, Father God. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for the safety of our cities and the people in them. We pray that you show mercy on us and heal our land. We come to you in repentance, Father God, and ask that you forgive us of each and every sin, whether it be in word, thought, and or deed that we've committed against you, others, and or ourselves as we forgive those who sinned against us. We pray for our enemies and our loved ones and anyone listening today who has not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior. We pray John 3, 16 over you. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're gonna to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. There's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life. That was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. So Father God, I thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you. To get into prayer with you each and every day, just like what we're doing now. Talking to you, listening for your voice, and obeying what you tell them to do. And help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible, and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. So they can discern between the truth and the lies, and the truth will set them free. Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. It's a God divine appointment that you're here today. God brought you to this channel because he wanted you to get saved so you can go to heaven someday with him. And he loves you so much um, that he wants you to spend eternity with him. And he wants to be your best friend, someone you can confide in and trust. Father God, I thank you for this person and everyone listening. I pray all of this in Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, Amen. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of Nehemiah chapter 8. So if you have your Bibles and you'd like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of Nehemiah chapter 8 and we'll get started. Thank you. And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. And they spake unto Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had commanded to Israel. And Ezra the priest brought the law before the congregation, both of men and women, and all that could hear with understanding upon the first day of the seventh month. And he read therein before the street that was before the water gate, from the morning until midnight, before the men and the women, and those that could understand, and the ears of all the people were attentive unto the book of the law. And Ezra the scribe stood upon a pulpit of wood, which they had made for the purpose, and beside him stood Metahiah, and Shema, and Anahiah, and Ureha, and Hilkiah, and Masiah, on his right hand, and on his left hand, Pidiah, and Mishael, and Malkiah, and Hashom, and Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Mishulam. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood up. And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God. And all the people answered, Amen, Amen, with lifting up their hands. And they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Also Yeshua and Bani and Shiribayah, Yamin, Akub, Shabbatita, Hodijah, Masia, Kiltlita, Azariah, Yosabat, Hanan, Peliah, and the Levites caused the people to understand the law, and the people stood in their place. So they read in the book of the law of God distinctively, and gave the sense, and caused them to understanding the reading. And Nehemiah, which is the Tershathia, and Ezra, the priest, the scribe, and the Levites, that taught the people, said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto you, our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the Levites stilled all the people, saying, Hold your peace, for the day is holy. Neither be ye grieved. And all the people went their way to eat, and to drink, and to send portions, and to make great mirth, because they had understood the words that were declared unto them. And on the second day were gathered together the chief of the fathers of all the people, the priests, and the Levites unto Ezra the scribe, even to understand the words of the law. And they found written in the law which the Lord had commanded by Moses, that the children of Israel shall dwell in booths in the feast of the seventh month, and that they should publish and proclaim in all their cities, and in Jerusalem, saying, Go forth unto the mount, and fetch olive branches, and pine branches, and myrtle branches, and palm branches, and branches of thick trees to make booths as it is written. So the people went forth and brought them and made themselves booths, every one upon the roof of his house and in their courts and in the courts of the house of God and in the street of the water gate and in the street of the gate of Ephraim. And all the congregation of them that were come again out of the captivity made booths and sat under the booths. For since the days of Yeshua, the son of Nun, Unto that day had not the children of Israel done so, and there was very great gladness. Also, day by day, from the first day unto the last day, he read in the book of the law of God, and they kept the feast seven days, and on the eighth day was a solemn assembly according unto the manner. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Nehemiah chapter 8. I hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it today. 
What we're doing as the Lord hath commanded is to spread the gospel to the world. So we're going chapter by chapter, all the way from the beginning of the Bible and until the end. So if you have not already, go ahead and get caught up on my previous videos. And until next time, bye!